Okay, so we're going to do this problem. So for this problem involves the perpetuity media pays X for you. Brian receives the first end payments, Colin receives the next end payments, and Charity receives the remaining payments. Brian's share of the prize and value of the original perpetuity is 40% and the charity share is K. Okay, well, the thing is that we have to think about here is that we know that Brian receives the first end payments, right? And then Colleen receives the next end payment. So that would be denoted 2N. And then a charity receives the remaining payments. Now, uh, since the perpetuity immediate pays X per year, we know that Brian receives the first uh, end payments of X per year. Colin receives the next uh and the payments of x per year and the charity receives the remaining payments which goes on and on because in all this is a perpetuity immediate so now it says brian's share of the present value of the original perpetuity is 40 percent so since the perpetuity immediate pays x per year then the equation would be denoted as this perpetuity immediate. And it says Brian's share of the present value of the original perpetuity is 40%. Okay, so I'm just gonna put 40 400. But uh, since this region is Brian's share, and since it is denoted as being 40% of the original perpetuity, we need a, a set up an equation of what this is actually equal to as well. So since Brian receives the first end payments, he's also actually receiving this much, the first end payments. Of X. Moving on, uh, then it says the charity share is K. Okay, so this is the charity share. Wait, we gotta put Brian. This is the charity. The charity share is K. K of the original perpetuity. And what is this region consists of? So we could set this equal to something. Uh, well, we know that the charity's share or the charity's payments start right after Colleen's payments as well. And since two N years has passed, and since the charity's uh, remaining payments are denoted as an ongoing perpetuity immediate, we know that the charity share is a perpetuity immediate equation discounted back uh, V to the 2N. Okay, now uh, we need to calculate K, so let's solve. Okay, well, the first thing that we could do is that we could expand this notation uh, X of the expanded uh, version of the um, present value formula, right? So we don't really need this anymore. So we could get rid of I, right? Uh, we can also get rid of X, right? So we are now left with 40%, which equals to one minus V to the end. Okay, so we could, uh, we could practically solve for V to the end. So we subtract one from both sides, we get negative 0.60. Then there's a negative here, so we make this positive. So then we find out that V to the N actually equals 60. Now let's plug V to the N in this equation. Uh, this equation, we could cross out these two. And then we're left to, with V to the 2N. Since we know V to the N equals 60%, we're able to uh, square 60%. And then we find out that the answer is actually 36, 0.36, which then again, it's 36%.